Good to you, Robert. Happy Easter. I mean, I mentioned Happy Easter. I'm not allowed to even say Happy Easter because if you work for Westminster City Council, they pretty much forgot that it was happening. Yeah, well, that story shows for me the best and worst of Britain, Ian. <clears throat> it's the best in that we are welcoming to minorities and we celebrate minorities, as we should, but the worst in that we forget our own culture yes. and heritage and we seem to be ashamed of our own culture and heritage and it's as though... We're not actually a, a Christian country at all. I mean, it's something out of the thick of it, isn't it? It's a, it's a kind of, um, it's, it's a sitcom moment, pure and simple, when they obviously thought they're over the, you know, Westminster Council is probably the most well-known council uh, in the land, really. Even if you don't live down in London, you're aware of Westminster because of everything that is there. Everything within the parish of Westminster, as it were, uh, is huge. The Prime Minister is a resident within it, as is the King and goodness knows who else. It's got Soho, it's got Parliament, it's got everything going on there. Um, and the Labour-run council, obviously, you know, decided, they thought, great, you know, Ramadan's here, better get the, uh, a display in, in the window of the town hall. They've got a big glass window there, so they put the Ramadan display in and they all stood back and showcased, preened their whiskers of diversity on this and thought, this is fantastic. And then a, a fellow from the Telegraph knocks on the door and says, uh, excuse me, mate, have you got, a, a, got an Easter one? Uh, yeah, we got one. Where is it? Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's out the back. Right, OK. I mean, it's knocking on a bit. It's Thursday. You might want to put it up, surely. Yeah, yeah, we, we're doing that. We've got a special team that do it. Um, and then, obviously, as I said at the beginning, somebody nipped out to Hobbycraft and bought some bunting and some plastic eggs uh, and chucked it on a table. And you do wonder, if The Telegraph hadn't made that phone call... It Andy, wouldn't be there. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be wouldn't here. wouldn't be there. Because there's no virtue to be signalled in Easter. You exactly. get plenty of virtue signalling yeah. in Ramadan, but not with the majority. Can we just have a look again at the, the images of the two displays there? This was the, the site that were, greeted anybody that turned up at uh, Westminster City Council Hall. Now, uh, the Easter display there, I mean, OK, it says Happy Easter. There's some pictures of some eggs and, as I mentioned, the bunting. That looks more like the kind of thing you might do in an infant school for air. It doesn't really smack of the ecclesiastical nature of Easter. It looks like an afterthought to They're me, which is what it is. There's one course. thing missing out of that. What was that fella's name in the Christian <laughs> story? Oh, that's right. Jesus himself, the crucifix, the cross, the Holy Week, the word Christian, it's not there at all. It is. I do wonder whether the church is partly to blame here. We've, you know, just last week we had that uh, member of the Church of England saying we, we need anti-whiteness. Do you see that? Yes. That, that story. And what's all that about? Instead of concentrating on these people themselves... Sick, Robert, they've got something wrong with them. I think we can all this conclude. This is it. This is it. Instead of concentrating on Easter, they're concentrating on anti-whiteness. I mean, what the hell's going on? Well, you do, yeah, that would be... You, you might... Is there not a meeting in the uh, central eight Christian HQ where they sit around with their impressive titles and big hats and say, right... Easter's coming. Is everybody across this? Uh, you know, local authorities aware? Are we going to put, you know, put a little bit more than some bunting up? You might think there'd be something. But well, you there might. appears to be nothing. And I said at the beginning, Robert, you know, in terms of Christianity, Easter is the big one, really. I mean, we talk about Christmas and Lent and goodness knows what else. Uh, but actually, it is Easter that's the most significant part of the Christian It life. is. And even the Archbishop of Canterbury was interviewed this morning by someone or other. And he, he was talking about uh, Rwanda, not Easter. Yeah. Now, Rwanda's important, but surely Easter's even more important. And it ain't just about eggs, kids. All right? Just remember that. Do you remember those posters, This Week is Holy Week? that you would see. Well, yeah, on, the, on my way to school as a kid, I just remember lots of people had them up, or I say lots, a handful of people would have these. It was a crucifix, though it was a pink and white poster, and every year these things went up, and I thought, am I the only person that remembers this? Somebody must have printed off 10 billion of these things, because they were there every year, and then they stopped. Yeah. It was certainly a big deal. It was absolutely we were growing right. up.